Hi friends, this video provides in-depth analysis of the Powerball Australia draw results starting from 19 April 2018. As a user, all you need to do is to enter the numbers and the Excel will do the rest in 27 different tabs. And these tabs will calculate the patterns trends and probabilities based on accurate statistical analysis. On tab 1, we enter the draw results. The results will be grouped into 5 segments and those are 1 to 7, 8 to 14, 15 to 21, 22 to 28 and 29 to 35. In total, there are 13 possible umbrella segments. Okay. So, in, what do we do in seminal data? The first tab. So, we just enter the numbers, the Powerball. That's it. The rest of the things will follow. The Excel will do the rest. It will group the segments automatically into uh, these five. And this area shows the percentage. And also, uh, in the combined section, it shows the combined values of these five. Okay, so it's like 21220 means 21220. Zero. When, when zero comes, it is blank here. Also, this one shows the combined in order. So, 21220 is not combined in order but 22210 is combined in large to small order so that's what it shows okay and you go to segment analysis one i'm not going to explain it just self-explanatory if you just read it you can understand that here it's again very explanatory but i just want to mention that see um, people who uses a tool like this will come to know that they only have to bet on only three or four segments, the first four, because 81.36% of the total draw results are from these four. But people who don't know about this will bet on all other and will eventually lose their money. This one has got high probabilities, okay? And this one, this one here shows what is the likelihood of something, a particular segment to occur after another particular segment. So, for example, 32110 occurred 14 times after the segment 22111, okay, which is 35, 35%. Similarly, um, 42100 occurred only once after 33100 segment. So, why is it important? You may check what was the last uh, segment here. So, this is the segment. So, you may want to know what will be the probable sec next segment. So, you'll go here and check. Oh, this is my, uh, this is the last segment appeared. So, the next probable segment would be maybe the 32110 because it's already appeared 10 times, which is 26.32%. Okay, like that. Now, that's the second page of the same analysis. Here, variation analysis. Here, like I said before, we have got 13 different segments. But you all know that we have got plenty of variations within this. Because, see, for example, 2, 2, triple 1 can be triple 1, double 2 or 2, triple 1, 2. So, in this column, it lists all the different variations that appeared. And that will appear when you enter the draw results in the seminal data section. When you enter here, everything will be updated. So, for this one, this many variations have already appeared. And this one shows how many times each variation has appeared. So, this variation appeared 6 times. This variation appeared 2 times. 6 times is 15% of the total number of times this particular variation, umbrella combination appeared. And 3.39% is means this particular variation appeared the uh, appeared 3.39% uh, of the total number of games so far okay just read this and uh, you will get to know okay the same logic applies to 
each of the 13 umbrella segments. So these are the umbrella segments. So just go to each one of them and apply the same logic. I'm not going to explain that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. So yeah, here, see, it is nothing because this combination has never appeared in the last 177 games, even this one. This one, only just once. This one, never. This one, once. This one, yeah, seven times. So you know what? People who don't know these data will, will just bet on all these. They just rely on luck. But when you have calculated risk based on accurate statistical analysis, there is the chances of winning the game is really high. Okay, now let's go to the number analysis. Here it shows number one appeared how many times. So one to seven is the segment that we have already created. So number one appeared how many times? 35 times so far out of the 177 games. And that is that equals 14.717%. And overall percent based on this game so far, this percent is based on the based on the segment within segment percent. And this one is overall okay and it applies the same so all these will automatically uh, will be updated yeah this one here is like the total the number we have got 35 numbers you know like people who played powerball before knows that we have got total 35 numbers so it shows how many times all these numbers appeared so one appeared 35 times two appeared 45 times and what is the percent of it Okay, so it's like 2.8 percent, 82 percent of the 177 rows. So that's what it means. But you can you can just click on this uh, filter and check which number appeared the maximum time. So it is 17. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, 17 appeared 51 times. So next time when you when you um, bet. You can decide like what numbers I should bet on. Okay. If you go to Powerball analysis one, it shows then I mean this one is the Powerballs. There are twenty Powerballs. We have divided them into five segments: one to four, five to eight, nine to twelve, like that. And it shows one to four. This segment appeared how many times? So it's forty-five times and seven point three four percent out of the one seventy-seven games. Okay. And this table shows how the numbers so number one appeared seven times within segments what was the percentage that is 45 so that is seven is 15.56 percent of 45 and it also shows 3.95 percent of the so one equals 3.95 percent of the game so far okay here it shows the number of times each number in the powerball appeared okay so number one appeared seven times which is 3.95 percent of the total number of games okay like that so you can you can use a filter to understand the probabilities okay and in powerball analysis too, it shows the graph so it started with seven in the first games powerball was seven and the last one was 10 so this will be updated you can see the graph and make some sense of how the graph is moving and you know that also provides you some idea about what to what which power ball should i use next okay then pb analysis 3 tells you like the likelihood of a power ball to be same as one of the standard numbers okay so 30 times out of the 177 draws powerball was one of the same is same as one of the standard numbers which is 16.95 percent which means for example number seven appeared five i mean not appeared five times so the likelihood of number seven to be one of the standard numbers or or, or, or let, let me put it this way when number seven was the powerball five times the same seven number seven was one of the standard numbers it's a bit complex how to explain it i hope you have understood 
Okay, so this one segment to powerball ratio. So it shows when, for example, when three two one one zero is the, was the segment, how many times number two appeared? It appeared six times. Okay, three two one one. Number two appeared. Or number two was the powerball six times. For example, another example would be when four one 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 zero was the segment number 17 was the powerball once okay here you get the probability you can you can you can you can make a sense of segment to powerball ratio so you have decided one segment and you can decide whether or you can you can you can make a, an assumption of what might be the what could be the most probable powerball based on the segment i have chosen okay this one same logic but flipped so based on this one shows powerball to segment ratio means say when when you choose seven as your powerball what is the most likely segment for the standard numbers so here it is five sorry two two triple one which came five times which is 45 power and five percent 45.5 percent okay and the last tab that is the 27th tab uh, this one shows number to powerball ratio for example um, if you think one of the seven standard numbers that you're going to select is four you might want to know what is how what is the probability of the uh, particular powerball to appear so when now when one of the standard numbers is four the chance of seven to occur as the powerball is two so it's seven occurred uh, seven appeared as powerball two times when this when one of the standard numbers was four same logic applies to every other place red dots or red squares indicates zero means when the powerball was six for example when the powerball was six Sorry, when um, one of the numbers were six, Powerball seven never appeared. Okay, seven never appeared as Powerball. Okay, so one of the standard seven numbers were six. Number seven have not appeared as Powerball ever before or in the last 177 games. Alrighty, so I hope you have understood. Um, I mean, it's it's hard to understand because it's, there's so much complex analysis of formulas and macros added in this one. And this is a, almost a 10 MB file. And there's so much to analyze. So this works like a tool, helps you. I mean, there is no right or wrong ways. It's up to your skill and your, your uh, involvement, commitment to analyze everything separately. And to make a decisions, it elevates, it significantly elevates your chances of winning. Um, so in case if you wish to purchase this Excel sheet, as I sell it for a price, uh, the price is AUD, that's Australian dollars, 200. And if you wish to purchase, please send me an email to bells .cob at gmail.com that is bells.corb at gmail.com okay we put it in some other tab because it's not visible so it's bells.cob at gmail.com why is it not showing <laughs> bells dot corb at gmail.com and the cost is AUD 200. If you have any doubts, please um, comment and um, just mention the tab number and I'll reply as early as I can. Thank you for watching and all the best.